Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is your boy, The Crypto Siege, with another day in the life and a crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Drive time video number two. So, guys, we've been seeing a little bit, of, a little bit of a bump in the digital asset space there, a little bit, huh? A little bit. I think Bitcoin is over eight thousand again, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, but I don't. I don't think. Listen, so, you know, according to the TA guy that I'm kind of following, you know, the the altcoins in terms of what they're going to do it still kind of looks like a a spring thing. <laughs> still looks like a spring thing to me, right? So I don't know where the spring is. That March, is it early March, is it late March? But it still looks kind of like a uh, a spring thing. For when it, you know the alts, the alts will start to do their thing. So Bitcoin's still going to have its dominance for a while, and um, yeah, so it doesn't look like the start of any kind of you know booming thing for the alts. Unfortunately, it's not going to be until spring, but that is really upon us, right? We're there. So I mean, this is I mean, this is January. We're almost done with January, so spring will be here before we know it, and I think that's going to be you know the start of some great things for the alt market. They look at that, um, what I'm reading, the alt markets are gonna do, the alt coins are gonna be doing some things that it hasn't done. Uh, it's gonna be even better than the 2017 bull run. Let's put it to you that way. Let's put it to you that way. So what's going on with the US Department of Treasury? We're just finding out that they've been testing blockchain using tokens. How about that? The US Department of Treasury. Right? So we're just finding that out, <laughs> which means they have been doing it for a while and they're just letting us know, you know, how that goes. So that's significant in a lot of ways. Doesn't it feel like that this is it? That they're they're starting to say, you know what, this is it. Digitization of things and tokens, you know, security tokens, you know, the digitization of payments, you know, is here. And if the U.S. Department of Treasury is uh, letting us know that they're testing blockchain technology using tokens if you will um i think that's significant uh i think it's also funny because i don't know david rudder uh from r3 is saying you know blockchain is one thing you know block and using blocks is one thing but ledgers are, are is quite another different kind of animal it is it is in fact the next level right and uh we all we all believe and know that Ripple's distributed ledger technology is without question the best that the world has to offer. So that's really, really exciting. But just think about that, guys. The U.S. Department of Treasury is using blockchain technology, testing it with U.S. tokens. Well, I mean U.S. tokens, with tokens. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy to think that they're doing that. What's going to go on here in... Uh, not just a matter of a few days. The repo market expiration is upon us, the 14th, I believe. What is going to go on there? What is going to go on there? Wow. And also, I forgot to mention in the other video that one of the significant things that was said by the lady um, during the SEC fire chat, fireside chat in the beginning of that, she talked about one of the major global economic trends that we have to pay attention to is, you ready for this? Global debt, right? 255 trillion and corporate debt. She's saying, and she quoted the numbers. I think she said 10 trillion. I don't know if she said 10 trillion or not, but I thought she did. Again, XRP radar antennas up. Thank Thanks to Digital Nomad Investor. This is what she said in the beginning of her, you know, she was the first one to talk and introduce the panelists. And she said, this is the, what the SEC is looking at. And, and these are the challenges. First two things she mentioned, global debt and then corporate debt. Again, guys, if you have not checked out that fireside chat with the SEC chairman, uh, Clayton, Glenn Hutchins, Ripple Investor, and Gary Cohen, you definitely want to check that out. Go to 
eight trains channel and checked it out but i think it's very very interesting i, I just love it when that xrp manifesto comes more and more into light begins to make more and more sense sec says the first two things global debt and this is the lady saying this and corporate debt and again i think a lot of people missed it because it was so pitchy so busy waiting to hear what the dudes had to say and missed out on probably the most significant thing uh, that the lady said the most significant significant thing and that is the global debt and this corporate debt and like uh the xrp manifesto states these are the things that mainstream media is going to start talking more and more about and we need a solution to that right and then they'll get to liquidity or the lack thereof and say that is essentially that is the major problem global illiquidity is the major challenge and we have a solution for it they're going to start asking what is the solution and then they're going to have some people on who are going to say what the solution could possibly be and that is going to be Ripple's ODL on demand, on demand liquidity, guys. <laughs> That's going to be what is going to start to be talked about. And you, then you throw in financial inclusion. Then you throw in this technology that lowers costs. Then you, then you throw in speed and fast. Then you throw in KYC and AML and CFT. And all of these things, trust me, someone's going to be on who's going to mention Ripple, the company, has has the technology that does all of these different things you just got to be paying attention to it so that you can know ahead of time this is where we're going and get excited about you know when they when when the next step will be is it going to be Mnuchin is it going to be Powell is it going to be Clayton is it going to be the Donald himself President Trump who says Ripple and XRP it's coming just found the document the other day I'm going to go over that as well where, they, where the uh, this particular bureau actually mentions Ripple and they mention their digital asset, XRP, in this document. So huge, 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 huge. And it's from some some bureau, I forget which bureau it is. Um, I think it's something um, having to do with the uh, transparency, uh, transparency and pricing and whether the, uh, uh, the payments bureau, I forget the name of it, is going to implement something new are they going to take off this temporary exception thing that they kind of got going on right now in terms of the divulging prices and being transparent about the prices and payments and stuff like that uh, and the foreign exchange rates that's what it is the foreign exchange rate so but they mentioned ripple and they mentioned xrp in this document cover i'm going to cover that in a subsequent stream as well so guys keep your xrp radar antennas up nothing but absolutely great news great news leading to ripple and xrp that is the bottom line that is <laughs> the answer don't sleep on what's going on with china and xrp guys just a little side note don't sleep on what's going on with xrp in china that's all i'm gonna say about that one <laughs> all right guys listen i'm gonna wrap this video up like i do all my videos and remind you of this old money doesn't want you to win they don't want us to win they would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars they don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in but we allow our money to work for us this is our chance to win guys the digital asset space is our chance to win we are in the midst of of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. That the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya.